Good morning. Trying this all again this morning on Saturday, April 17th. Welcome. This is my alchemical vitality in of one, my N equals one. I'm Brian. This is my journey where I make small little experimental changes to see if I can make my vital numbers change throughout the day so I can have a more healthful lifestyle because really that seems to be like the only thing that nobody's talking about having a healthy lifestyle so let's get started let's get into it here we go as you can see here my weight stayed the same today uh, just pushed over the night didn't do much change of, on anything um, there's probably a reason for that uh, I ate late last night and I'll talk about that in uh, here because as you can see if you can click on on if we could see quick deeper into this app it says that I slept for, slept for seven hours and 57 minutes with a sleep time of six hours and 45 minutes but if you can see all these little bright points on on here each one of those points is a point where I I was coughing last night I I had some uh, cheese before I went to bed last night and that cheese just made me so phlegmy and uh, had huge huge implications on my sleep last night so I slept for six hours and 45 minutes yeah, air quote that I had a heart rate of 84 when I woke up this morning and I do not feel rested at all Okay, uh, <clears throat> my blood pressure this morning though is somewhat, somewhat okay. It's 126 over 85. It's still in that range where it's deciding to whether it's going to come down or not. But you know, as I lose the weight, as I as I drop <clears throat> all the excess inflammation, that will come back down to a real healthy level. All right, let's get into the iPad here. And we'll go through my goals so that we can we can see them together. So a weight of two oh five and fit. I know this is, sounds like this sounds like this sounds like it's a a long ways away, but it's not. I could be halfway there in thirty days. Uh, blood pressure normal range. Sleep seven hours and one minute. Blood sugar under 90. Fasting. Uh, a pulse of 60 to 70. This is a starting. This is also a starting. Uh, starting goals. So my blood, my blood oxygen this morning. Let's get a quick read on that. We got the little reader here. I'm not focused here. You're, it's focusing on my face. Here we go. 93. Awesome. As you can see, I got an, a new camera dedicated here. Can you see? Let us see. Before it goes off, it says 97.5. This is the same range that I've been in for a while now. My fasting sugar this morning is 169. I attribute that to going to bed, eating, having a snack right before bed. I had quite a large snack last night, and I think that helped keep my my weight down. Um, my weight, my weight this morning once again was 292.4, right? And we call that a push. So I'm going to put in the 126 over 85 for my blood pressure. My ketones this morning were a 0.2. My sleep quality, well, 6 hours and 45 minutes and 75%. My pulse this morning when I got up was 84. Which is quite high, quite high for me because usually I'm in the 60s, 70s range. Um, 
I haven't meditated yet this morning. My stress level is like a two because I didn't sleep last night. Um, but let's go check in on yesterday's food and supplements, okay? So yesterday, I did no supplements at all. I did none. Not even apple cider vinegar. Breakfast, I had... Um, I had uh, bacon and eggs, and that was it. And then lunch, we had a, a late lunch, maybe like an early dinner, and that was these uh, keto pizzas uh, that my wife made. They were like a tortilla, goat cheese, tomatoes, black olives, and some mozzarella, and a little bit of sauce. Um, my goodness, they were so good. They were so good, but something, something on there definitely affected my pulse. My pulse went up to 109. So it was either the wheat or it was the, it was either the wheat or it was the, um, the marinara sauce had something in it that my body reacted to, or it could have been, uh, and the goat cheese, who knows, I'd have to single it out and do an elimination to find out which exactly one it was, but I know that when I eat other wheat products, it's one of those things that that, that is what, um, that really affects me, so, and then we didn't, we were going to fast, uh, until dinner, and we decided that actually at the last minute, we just decided to make uh, like pseudo sandwiches for everybody. So we took meat, uh, meats and cheese and, uh, avo mayo and, um, some mustard and just rolled it up and made little like sandwich rolls, if you will, I guess, pseudo sandwiches. But the cheese definitely affected. Um, the cheese uh, made me funny. And it wasn't a good it wasn't a good sleep, that's for sure. so so that's that was basically my day for yesterday. Um, today, my goal is to probably just do fats only that's what i'm working on right now so i'm trying to um i'm gonna probably have a bulletproof coffee or some semblance of that here um and then some teas with some fatty teas some fatty coffees uh throughout the day here and just see how that makes a difference um i'm trying to bring that sugar down so i'm trying to get my body into the blood sugar down so i'm trying to not feed it either proteins or carbs and if i stay away from those two i'm hoping that it'll actually just drop you know it'll come into a healthy range and i'll feel i start feeling better and it's so right now i'm like stuffed in the nose tickling the throat drama it's drama i tell you <laughs> anyhow that's my day I appreciate you being here. If you want to get caught up with all my other endeavors, you can go over to YouTube. You can go to alchemicalvitality.com if you're local. I have some healing measures on there that I, the healing modalities that I do. Um, have a fantastic day. Make it great. Make yourself part of your ritual so that you're, you're the one that benefits from it first. Okay. Love y'all. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow.